Hey everybody, it's Braden again for Sketchy Questions. Today I got a question. It's how do I control which plane I draw a rectangle on when there are no shapes nearby, or when I want to draw on a different plane other than the nearby shapes' faces? Pretty good question, and it's not exactly intuitive in SketchUp. So, let's see, with our rectangle tool we can draw a rectangle. So pretty straightforward, but what if you didn't want that rectangle sort of flat on the ground like that? What if you wanted it like maybe standing up or something? How would you do that? And the technical term here is inferencing. So you need to inference the proper plane in SketchUp. And actually the easiest way to show you that is to use the circle tool. Uh, it behaves the same exact way as the rectangle tool, but there's a little indicator on there that makes it easy. So here we are with our circle tool activated, and you can see the circle around the pencil there is colored blue right now. And what that is referring to is when I'm hovering right here in this particular spot, if I draw a circle, it's going to be perpendicular to the plane with that color. So right now it's going to be perpendicular to the blue plane. And you can see that there. It's flat like we had it before. So if we don't want it perpendicular to the blue plane, what we need to do is rotate our view around so that the majority of it is the, uh, the parallel actually I should say perpendicular to the plane we do want the circle on so you'll see right here just rotating the view around it and do anything else it's still the regular plain old circle tool but when it's hovering in this area if I draw a circle it's going to be perpendicular to the red plane so let's see that there you go standing up and same for the green you just rotate your your view around till you get it where you want it. See now the circle is colored green. So really, it's just a matter of uh, moving your view so that you can get the inference. Now the rectangle tool does not have that nifty color indicator. I kind of wish it did. It's pretty useful, but it behaves the same way. So if I uh, if I'm looking down on something draw my rectangle. If I look over this way, ta-da, and uh, if we change our view along this green axis here, it's going to be perpendicular to that. And I didn't use any modifying keys, no shift or control or anything to get that. It's just a matter of moving your view around to get what you need.